Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. In the Richard Mailer collection, there is the Angel series. There are eight of them. We've officially released all eight. The second installment, 1986's Angel's Revenge. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jason from Barefoot. This is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. Today we're here to talk about some more Richard Mailer. This one is completely amazing. That's why I wanted to end with this one. Boys Club. Okay, so Boys Club. Boys Club. Harold Reams is the master of the Boys Club. He's sending them out on assignments. Herschel Savage, Rick Savage, Skip Robbins. That's his Boys Club. And Skip Robbins is Blake Palmer. Two actors in this movie we've covered, and I know them by their real names, and in this movie, they are both under their pseudonyms. Rachel Ryan is the other one. She was Petty Morgan in this. So all the girls going against the boys' club, Patty Pettit, Ryan Drew, Tammy White, huge crew, Chanel, She's two times the size of me. What did she play? What do you want, shorty? Big Betty. That's her credit in this Big Betty, Angel's Revenge. Now you're gonna be able to watch all of them now. They'll all be on our page. Page. Page Mailer will have all these as well in their own little playlist. Just jam through them all. I've talked a bunch. I've got some theories about Richard Mailer traveling through time, meeting the band Ween, coming up with projects. We'll talk about that at the end. Could be conspiracy, could be truism. did it again. I knew it. How'd you do it? <laughs> Frankly, she's crazy about me. <laughs> we, just, we decided to have a little victory party for you. Uh, but since you can't be here, we'll just celebrate in absentia. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The guys, I uh, want to wish you uh, congratulations. Anyway, yeah. What a yeah. 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 Hey, 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 hey. We're all fine, babe. If not for you, we wouldn't even be here. Oh, I wish I could be there, too, for your uh, little party. But... Uh, Unfortunately, there's a lot of field work for your old prez to handle. <laughs> now listen, don't get carried away. I've got a lot of assignments for you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you later, yeah. <laughs> what a guy. Hey, hey, I mean, that's why he's our prez, yeah. right? Hey, so, uh, <laughs> uh, enough uh, crap, let's uh, get the festivities going, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little party scene here today. So, uh, what are we, what's happening? Did anyone plan anything? Something on the way? There's something coming. All right! Yeah, come on! Let's go! Oh, yeah. yeah. right, let me get some of that. Come on. Champagne time now. Oh, can I have a glass? Uh, I offer you. a toast, gentlemen. A toast. To our beloved President Jarvis. Hey! A true believer in the inalienable fact that men are men. Yeah! A toast! Oh. I just have a lot on my mind right now, that's all. Anything you want to talk about? Maybe later. Okay. Say it next. Absolutely. Yeah, hello? Hey, Jarvis. Uh, How was the party? Uh, How was the party? How was the party? It was, party. Oh, it was oh, an oh. event. We, we oh. practically called the paramedics. Yeah. Yeah? Well, what do you think, Leo? Are you guys up to your assignments after your little party? 
Good. Now, here's what I want you to do. This is a girl. She uh, lives on a houseboat in Sausalito on, uh, on Pier 6. I want you to pose as an insurance salesman. I, I think I know what you mean, Jarvis. Sir. You sure do your homework. Good. <laughs> okay. Now, put Roger on. Roger! Roger, I know you've been uh, waiting for a rather big assignment. Well, here it is. It's got another one. Big. I don't think I can take it. Holy. Yeah. Hey, Gary. Look, uh, I know that you're uh, relatively inexperienced at this, but uh, I've got something to match that level of inexperience. <laughs> Y'all got your assignments? Okay. Now what I want you to do is get cracking. Hey, I, I, I kind of like that. Get cracking. Got it? <laughs> okay, do it. You got it. Let's go. We're in there. All right. Okay, Roger, you take the truck, Gary, you take the bike. Right. I'm walking. Right. What do you want, Shorty? Shorty? That's what I said. Uh, uh, hi, I'm... I called earlier, I'm an insurance You didn't call salesman. me. Uh, yeah, I, I did. Um, no, I, I, you aren't. Telling a lie. <laughs> you look kind of scrubby for an insurance salesman. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I got to get this right. The car broke down. May I use your phone, please? I know I'm going to get it right. I know I'm going to get it right. I said, okay, girls. Uh, I hope I'm not any inconvenience, but uh, my car broke down out there, and I just wanted to know if I could use the telephone and call a tow truck. I hope it's no trouble. All right, sounds good. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Oh, gee, I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, but my... don't tell me what happened. You must be having car problems. You uh, know, yeah. everybody does that. They get caught on that embankment. Come, please, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, with the rain and all, everybody's always going off the embankment. Oh. Hmm. How silly of me, though. I should get you a towel, eh? And I'll call a tow company. We'll take care of your car for you. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's... Jesus. Uh... You know, I am so rude. Can I get you something hot to drink? Coffee, tea? Yeah, I'll How have a cup coffee. Of... I'll get you coffee, huh? That would be a good thing. Yes. Please excuse me Just for a minute. Like, Make it? yourself at home and I should be right back. Obviously, a big, strong man like you would like to have his coffee strong, too. Am I right? Oh, you bet. I know this will help oh. here. Oh, boy, you know, I was really beginning you know, to get wet. You know, it's really raining a lot out there. I know how it is. Well, here, let me do this oh. for you here. Oh, I know this coffee will warm you up. I've called the tow company. Please have oh. some. So did you make the coffee uh, nice and... Oh, <laughs> I hope you do like your coffee strong. Oh. Because it is rather strong. Oh, yeah, well... It... For a nice rainy day... It smells wonderful. Believe me, it will warm you up. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm, boy. Come on in, Shirley. My name's not Shirley. You better split, dude. Before my old lady gets back. It's no way to treat a stranger. Hey, I will stranger. She's gonna kick your ass. He's part of some dumb group who doesn't believe girls should have a good time together. He's their dumb president. Okay, I think this guy needs a little lesson from Angel. Don't worry about a thing and just come on home. Oh, yeah, and tell me how I can get a hold of this guy. 
Angel! Where are you? Now I know what to call that quality of yours. Stupidity! Have a nice walk. The next town's about 30 miles that way. you think? Can you believe we're done? All eight? I mentioned on uh, Honky Tonk Angels that I am going to do a retrospective. I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do, but we are going to do a look back at the entire series. Blue Silver does this, the music, a banging original. Broken Halo. Broken Wings. I shouldn't sing. Broken Halo. Broken Wings. Angel. I believe you'd say it slaps, just like the first Angel, a year after this was released to us in America, Venus Video International re-released this in France. So people in France could just always just hang out and watch the first two Angels. But speaking of releasing, Marilyn Chelans, do you know her, Marilyn Chelans? She is a feminist force in the adult film industry. She was the special thanks on this here movie she owned and operated she owned she owned and operated cottonwood productions and masterpiece home video and masterpiece home video released this a year before venus video international in france she also worked with uh, dick on other films but on this one she released it i hope they made a bunch of money i bet you they did Oh, the FBI can stop looking for D.B. Cooper because I found him in this movie. He's Dick's assistant director, D.B. Cooper. I keep wanting to talk about Ween. There's a few things I love in life. Barefoot is one of them. Ween is another one. And then my little kiddos. All of my heart. Richard Mailer was a interesting and strange guy. I have a weird feeling that sometime in the early 80s, he traveled through time and hung out with the band Ween. Not in 2005 when Shinola was released, but sometime in the early 90s when Boys Club was written. And I think he got a demo of Boys Club, not the 2005 polished Boys Club. Boys Club. From the future, he went back to the past and based off of Boys Club by Ween, he wrote Angel's Revenge. I'm not saying I'm right, but you can't prove me wrong. There's a good chance that Richard Mailer traveled through time, got the demo to Boys Club, went back in time, and wrote Angel's Revenge. What, do you want to mix something of it? Talking about Boys Club. Boys Club. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We got a PayPal button down below. If you don't donate some money, I'm going to go put a cat up in a tree and leave it. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you soon.